the live stream there because my PC is going to probably require some endurance runs beforehand because for whatever reason, I just could not get it up and running. But that being said, at least now I'll be able to give you guys the kind of Q&A you're looking for without having to do too much here. But what a bummer. I mean, talk about I had my NVIDIA Shadow Play running. I tested it beforehand and it was working just fine on a few practice live streams, but apparently we're going to have to really put it through the ringer because I guess when actual comments are coming in, it starts messing up. So what I think I'll end up doing is maybe giving some of you guys who want to be a part of it, like just some links, some private links, and we can just kind of have ourselves a kind of off the grid kind of live stream testing it out beforehand and then doing the real thing. But yeah, what a bummer that was. So as you guys are coming in, if you guys have questions, I'll be answering that. And in the meantime, I'll be playing some Spyro and just kind of doing my thing here. So hopefully this is going to stick and it's going to work. I mean, I don't expect any problems, but you know, we'll see what we see. But all right, I'm going to get started. And uh, if you have comments, questions or concerns, just uh, put them down below and we'll get it going. I just got stabbed by this guy. Oh yeah, that's right, I've got to charge him. What are my controls again? Okay, so that's how I roll. That's how I blow fire. I can do it two ways. And then I can center, okay. Okay, so we got him knocked out. All right, and then there's the old lady. We light the fire, right? Didn't I already do that? I guess I did. And I just killed myself. Am I serious with this? That took like no time at all to die. What's going on, Jimmy? You say, uh, hey, Quantum, I'm currently looking into the H9G. I don't know how much, uh, I don't know much about how to calibrate. I was wondering if the 55 inch H9G settings would work for the 65 inch. Yeah, the size shouldn't have too much bearing on much besides your local dimming zone count. Um, some cases peak brightness is higher depending on what size you go up to. Um, but ultimately the settings that I have will work just fine for most people. Um, you should be absolutely in the clear on that one. Now, how do I get up here? I think I do this again. Get out of here. Roast the bird. I'm trying to find how to get out of here. Because I know there's another world I haven't exactly gone to. All right, so we have a question from Anthony. You said, uh, how long will you keep the H9G or you will keep it for the next generation of consoles? Uh, well, I'm keeping my H9G. That's just the TV that, you know, I'm gonna hold on to indefinitely. But as far of, as the uh, next generation consoles, I have zero interest in them. i rather play PC and my RTX 2080 Super to be specific. Even though I did have some problems trying to get my live stream up and running, we will eventually sort this out. So, growing process here. First time I actually tried it with actual comments coming in. I did a couple of dead live streams, but nothing solid. But yeah, no, I'm going to have fun just playing the regular PC games that I have. I don't really care too much about, uh, you know, PlayStation and all the advertising that Xbox and all of them are doing. I don't know, it's just so something so unappealing about not having control over my power and them not mandating any kind of requirement that says, hey, we are going to take advantage of the power that you have here. That is really unacceptable to me. These guys are always the hardest to catch, like literally forever the hardest guys to catch. Oh, this is just the worst. Ah, oh, how do you catch this guy? Ah, oh, I need my camera. Damn it, right into the wall. I will get this bastard. Where is he? Don't laugh at me. I'm gonna get you. I don't know how I'm gonna get it, but this is the, like the hardest little troll. Oh, I'm so close. Damn it. I hate these little things. Every time. Oh, I'm gonna get you. Damn, I'm, I should throw my fire out when I get like that. Alright, I got it. I think that's why they give you multiple ways of throwing your fire. Oh, I just messed that all up. Come on. No. No! Yes! No dragon egg? Dirty. I did that for nothing. Nothing, I say. That was absolutely a waste of time. Alright. So I've got a uh, question from Smiley. What's going on? You said, uh, since Calman Home 
Enthusiast is no longer available. What is a good, inexpensive way to get calibrating on TVs? Well, it depends on your television. You can use, uh, Calman broke up the, the home license into various manufacturers. So Panasonic, LG, Sony, Samsung, they all have a Calman. So that just is kind of going to depend on you and what brand you have. And we've got one one. You said uh, yes, it's back, and yes, it's finally back. I had some technical difficulty issues that I will have to assess at a later point in time. Now I'm going to try to. All right. Here I've done like literally all of this, and I still, for whatever reason, oh my god, that's not what I was looking to do at all. Get out of here. I hit him. I died? Damn. Just a disrespect. All right, so we've got uh, John. What's going on? You said I'm returning my my X950H tomorrow uh, due to being unhappy overall. It seems hazy at times and has a lot of rainbow glare. You said uh, any recommendations, replacement? I was leaning maybe towards the A8G. Coming from the A8G, I can tell you that there is a dramatic difference in image quality. If you go that route, you will be happy. So absolutely, that is something I would recommend is that's what I'm playing on right now. Um, outside of that, you can maybe look at the Hisense H9G. I'm not sponsored to say any of this, by the way. Um, maybe if you wanted to wait for an HDMI 2.1 option, maybe Vizio, but ultimately speaking, it really just depends on uh, the kind of picture quality you're looking for. Bright room, dark room. So there's a little bit more information I would need to be able to help you out there, but yeah, you should be good either way. All right, let's float up. Maybe that will get us... I know that takes us to the top of this here perch, but now if I want to leave this world and go somewhere else, I don't exactly know how to do... There it is. There it is. So I've got to go up there. Got it. Okay. Well, how do I get up there now? Now that's the question, isn't it? I know I can just fly over here, charge these guys. I should be able to take that kind of elevator looking thing. Damn you. I'll let it go because it doesn't matter yet float up here and I should be able to return home like so very good all right so we've got uh, smiley you said uh, I'm getting the H8G next week you said uh, thanks to finding your channel glad to see a channel actually cares about telling people what they need to hear and not what they want to hear yeah I mean I'm, I'm kind of I guess rude in that regard I really don't care what people want to hear because you know lip service doesn't really do anybody any justice in my view you know I feel like the more you tell somebody what they want to hear you're not able to make everybody happy so even if you spend your whole life trying to please people you're eventually gonna piss somebody off right might as well go out being an honest person than a pacifist and that's just how I see things but you know there are a group of people that don't like that they call any complaint whining and crying and any kind of factual evidentiary proof that something is wrong you bashing the product you know that's just you're never going to please everybody, so it is what it is. But, you know, it's good to see that there are those that appreciate it, and that's why I keep doing what I do. That and I can't stop being me, right? All right, so we're going to kill him before he <laughs> gets me with the cannon. And Clifftown. I think that's where I'm supposed to go, but I don't exactly remember. There's a lot of little towns here. All right, so we've got... Uh... James, what's going on? You said, will Hisense be releasing a new TV in 20, 2021? I would imagine, but I don't exactly know what Hisense has planned. I would guess so, like every other manufacturer, but to be honest with you, it'd be hard to say. They all kind of do their own little thing. We've got one one. You said, uh, third, I need a sound bar, new Sonos. Uh, you said, new Sonos at Atmos looking amazing. You said, uh, but eARC, new H9G has ARC. And you said, uh, what do I recommend? I mean, honestly, I would just recommend the Sony Z9F soundbar. That's the one I've been recommending for the longest time because it's the one I personally have. So I can speak to uh, how it performs. And unlike the Sonos soundbar, it comes with everything you're going to need. Sadly, Sonos, Bose, and a lot of other manufacturers are now trying to charge for the subwoofer separately, which is absolutely stupid because how else are you supposed to use it? And they know that, and they know they can just milk you for an extra subwoofer. And that's exactly what they do. I think it's pretty shitty, actually, but that's just the way things are. And of course, nobody complains. Everybody's always grateful about everything. So 
that just means that now we have a market that's going to keep changing so i'm glad i got this sound bar while i had the opportunity because it it, it man it hits especially during those atmos movies like please there are moments where i feel like what's happening in the movie is actually happening around me so that's always a good thing too james you said uh I believe next generation consoles. I gotta roast these guys. I didn't even see them approaching. I'm not even paying attention. Uh, I said, you said, uh, I believe next generation consoles will do 4K 60 for gaming because 120 games is not happening anytime soon. Yeah, I mean, there is no real mandate either way, right? So like, they can do pretty much whatever they want. It doesn't have to be 4K 60. It could be 4K 30 on most large open world games, like it likely will be. And you know, there's. There's no requirement to even remotely appreciate the fact that you have advanced hardware in there. It's just like, do whatever you want, developer. I mean, did you buy a console for that? Maybe, some people did, but not me. I just can't get behind that. Am I holding, am I firing the cannon? I didn't even know I could do that. I think I just found something else that I could do. That's cool. Dry Canyon, that sounds like a place I have not been to. And seeing how there's all these chests here, I definitely haven't been here. All right, so we're gonna go to the Dry Canyon next. All right, roast and roll. That's how we do. Okay, so everybody's, sh everybody's good there. Okay, just checking the comments here. So yeah, I'm just kind of hanging out. I'm gonna try to get my, uh, my thing working. Hopefully I don't have any problems during the live event. I got a test before then, but I'm planning on covering the, um, the Xbox event. So hopefully it all goes well. It's such a pain in the ass when you have technical difficulties like that. So I'm gonna have to probably play around with it and figure out what exactly went wrong. Cause it kept freezing from what you guys were saying and I don't know why that was happening. So what I'll probably end up doing is reducing the quality or maybe the FPS or something. I'm not real sure on the exact way I'm gonna go about it, but we'll get it going guys. I'm going to try to mimic, actually, the setup that I have here on the PlayStation, because... What, what is that? If I hit it hard enough? What is, oh, nice. Okay, so that was supposed to happen. Yeah, I'm going to try to mimic the setup that I have here on the PlayStation, because I think if I do that, then at the very least I know, because, like, right now we're holding steady. I don't have any issues right now with what's happening on the PlayStation, and I think that'll be pretty good. I wish there was a way I could, like, host two live streams at the same time so that I could test to see if it works out and then be able to go back in and do what I have to do but I'll have to do it separately so you guys will probably see me playing around with that later on today or something like that and be like oh my god he's back on I'm just probably messing around all right but let's see I'm pretty sure I hit him there we go yeah not today get out of here with that all right, so I got a question coming in from James. You said uh, I thought the X900H for my uh, for my room to play games, and the H9G for my living room. Uh, oh, you bought the uh, X900H for one for okay, gotcha. Yeah, I mean, for me, I just couldn't uh, I couldn't get behind the X900H. I just saw way too many features being ripped out from like classic Sony. Wow, that guy is big. At least we got him with the fire, so that's good. Yeah, I just could, I saw too many features being ripped out, and it bugged me because it's like, you know, how are we gonna move forward if they keep taking things out and nobody ever says anything about it? I think for me, that's like one of the things that really like grinds my gears the most. It's like, here we are like buying products all the time, but nobody ever tells you, like maybe not to do that. Maybe there are moments where we should just kind of hold our money and wait for something better to come along. You know, and I think that's also. You know, it's it's part of the influencer crowd, you know, people that know that there's absolutely a way to make a ton of money doing this and live the kind of lives they want to live, so they're going to be selfish about it. But of course, nobody's friends out here, right? Nobody's doing it out of the kindness of their hearts, or at least most people aren't. But I do what I can. So what in the world? All right, so we got him there. Did I just return home accidentally? I think I did. I totally just goofed it. Whatever, at least it logs my money. If we get 1,500 gems, then they give us what we need. So that's good. 
I have not gotten very far in Spyro at all. It's a fun game for sure. All right, so what do I do now? I don't. There's no way I just ended at the Dry Canyon. I think there's totally more in the Dry Canyon I haven't gotten to. All right, so what's going on, Jimmy? You said uh, if TCL doesn't announce their pricing uh, and release soon, I'm going H9G, trying to hold out for gaming settings, but you said uh, really aren't that important to me either. I'm not a competitive gamer. Yeah, I don't know if TCL is going to be releasing uh, anything anytime soon, maybe late fall. I mean, because they're dead. I, I haven't even seen so much as a prototype for what they have on the market. So it'd be really interesting to figure out what they have because I haven't seen a thing. All right, get out of here. Get out of here. Somebody needs you. I totally think I just botched that. All right, we got that. How do I get back over here? Okay. And I hit the water. Okay, cool. Yeah, I found it really weird that I had uh, problems where my stream was dropping out because, like, my internet's spectacular, but it's just, I don't know. I don't think it's capable of doing all this at the same time. I don't know. Maybe I'm asking too much of it. Probably. It's, it's possible. I'm not going to even lie. It is possible I could be overtasking the internet. I'm very curious to figure out why it didn't work. Well, it worked. It just froze and cut out. That's probably something to do with uh, quality, but we'll see. All right, what is this? Get out of here. I wonder what these orbs do. They don't seem to be currency. Oh, they're lives. I gotcha. They're just lives. All right, so now I'm going to go... Not there. Don't send me back home. I don't want to go home. There we go. Now we traverse over here. Okay, and yes. That's only worth five? Lame. Cheap. So cheap. What's going on, Shintu Pat? What's happening? Oh, I can go this way. Nice. Okay, so... Oh, not another one of these damn guys. I hate the runners. Fire, fire. He, he's immune. Got it. Okay. Roll. Tuck and roll. Oh, that was nice. I think I just dodged that by rolling. Alright. Well, seeing how that guy's just gonna run and be there, I'm just gonna collect my money and then do what I gotta do. Alright. We've got, uh... Woon Woon, what's going on? You said, uh... I have a 65-inch H9G coming. You said I need help with calibrations. How do I pay? Uh, how do I pay you to help me? I have settings on the channel. I'll give you the link here. I just have like a generic link that I give out. This should be it here. How do I paste it in? Do I need to? I don't think it's going to let me paste the whole thing in there. I think it's too long. Oh, no. It'll let me do it. Good. Uh, minus, minus, um, uh, yeah, I'm down characters that I would need. Okay, so I'm gonna have to find the, uh, regular link then? Because that's not gonna work. Alright, so give me a second, I have to pull it up here. Uh, links. I'm gonna give you the direct link. There we go, copy. Then go into live stream chat. Not the comments, the chat. There we go, and then... Paste, and there you go, man. You should be good to go. Um, there's also join next to the channel. Sometimes you can't see it on your phone. You might have to go to desktop to do it, but this is, this is the direct link, and it should work. Uh, we've got uh, Chin Tu Pad. You said nothing much. And that's... And I don't know if I've seen Sam's comment. Sam Jones said, I'm buying both next-generation consoles, and I need a TV for it. Any TV that you can buy that's HDMI 2.0 will be just fine. Uh, 4K 60 will be the target. You're likely not going to see very many games go above that. At least not anything. Why can't I hit my fire? Dude, come on. Get this guy. At least not anything substantial. You'll see racing games, Dirt 5, Forza, whatever other racing games are out there. You'll see indie games, you know, like the Cuphead's out there, be able to hit, you know, higher frame rates and resolutions. But, oh, well, 4K is the resolution they're going for, but... I don't know, man. It just seems... Oh, he just... He shook me. That's so fucked up. Come on, dude. 
No ankle breaking. There we go. Yeah, I'm, I'm personally pretty disappointed in the way that they've gone about marketing these consoles because they make people think that these consoles are going to be capable of way more than what they're likely going to be capable of. I can't wait to see like what more developers produce. I know we're going to have a live event on the 22nd or 23rd or whatever it is. They're going to be showing off more stuff, but I'm not expecting more than 4K60 on the vast majority. And even then, that's that's a stretch, man. That's really a stretch given the hardware that they have because we see what that same hardware equates to on PC. Now, of course, consoles are able to optimize more than PC because they have more time, bigger budgets, and things like that. And there's usually more attention to detail being put into console games. That's just how it usually works, especially from the hardware perspective, but I don't know. It's just, call it a vibe, but they're giving me that they're not really caring too much about enhancements of graphical right, fidelity through frame rates vibe you are a good glider hey eh, spyro i was born to glide <laughs> this dweeb all right so what do we got that's pretty much it i feel like there's a dragon somewhere around here i'll eventually find the dragon but which way do i go Can't really figure it out. So I guess we just return then? All right, so do, do you guys have any extra questions or anything like that? Because I'm going to get ready to wrap up soon. Go hang out, spend some time with the family. Probably hold these live streams every Friday. Um, set, I'm aiming for 7 p.m. through 7.30 p.m. Just keep it short and sweet. We can ask all the questions, kind of hang out for 30 minutes. And then, uh, you know, move on with our nights and stuff like that. Not really go on for a full hour, because usually when I did the full hour, there aren't really that many questions in an hour. At least not around this time of year, anyway. We've got Cliff Town. I don't think I have the full 1500 he'll need to take me to the next island. Right? I can't believe how fast you found so much stolen treasure. Hop aboard for the Magic Crafter's World if you're ready. Oh, I can? Okay, fine. Why not? Oh, wait, stay here. No, screw that. I want to go. Where's the Magic Crafter's World? That sounds sick. All right, let's go. It's pretty dope. All right, so we've got Sam Jones. You said uh, uh, top five best budget TVs of all time. Uh, I don't know. I don't really, I don't really go off of price if that makes sense. I go off of like features that I need. I don't. I mean, it's hard because it's like I know people are on budgets, but like, it's hard to put myself in that like what what's the best budget TV of all time? And I I just don't shop like that, dude. I just whatever I see that's of a good value, I'll just buy it if it makes sense for my needs. But to go off of price, I can't say I can't honestly give you five of the best budget TVs. I mean, Hisense is definitely towards the top right now from what I've seen. The H9G, um, H8G, uh, H9F, the H8F, those are good TVs. Um, Vizio, maybe, with the P-Series Quantum 2019. I haven't seen the 2020 variant, but, I mean, overall, I wouldn't really put a whole lot of stock in a whole lot of other ones. Uh, one one you said, uh, is there a switch you recommend? Uh, you said, uh, that will work with the Z9F. What do you mean, switch? What kind of switch? Uh, what's going on, Chin? You said, uh, I hope Microsoft has some games, hopefully. I mean, they've been kind of quiet on that front, so... July 23rd or 22nd or whatever it is is going to be their chance to show us what they got and uh, Sam you said uh, what is the best gaming computer the best gaming computer is uh, the one that matches your needs I mean a lot of the stuff that you would use it for is going to be user specific some people have graphic design in mind some people have heavy gaming some people like me I only wanted 1440 60 with ultra settings that was like what I wanted so an RTX 2080 super for me was all I needed but for some people they want 4k 60 on every game and not a dial less than 4k 60 but they want maximum settings as well with ray tracing so for those people they're going to be spending a lot more than me and it just depends right right and then other people they they're good with 1080 60 right that's all they care about 1080 at 144 frames a second or whatever it goes up to these days so it really honestly when you're talking about computers depends on everybody 
Uh, he said, why is H9F so rare and hard to find? It's just selling out quickly. People have found a gym. They realize that this little Chinese brand is given more than the consumers. And when you have people like me recommend it, it tends to go a lot faster. And I'm not the only person recommending it. Some people try to keep it on the hush. I mean, it, it's it's one of those weird things. I, did I literally just kill this guy? I did. He hasn't been in the world five seconds and I killed him. Uh, but yeah, no, it's just, it's a really good TV and it tends to sell because of that. And uh, you said uh, HDMI switch uh, that will allow Dolby, Dolby and stuff like, uh, I guess, eARC maybe? You're, you're looking for something to work? I mean, I would look, I, I literally just saw it last night, but I mean, I think even like the Philips Hue box, that might not be a bad option. Uh, the Hue Sync box, I believe? Uh, I got to pick one up myself. I haven't even picked one of those up. Um, but as far as switches, you can find them all over Amazon. That's not like a, a hard thing to find, just like a HDMI switch and type in like specifically what you need it to do. And you can typically find almost anything within seconds on Amazon. Um, but yeah, that's, that's my top recommendation. Damn. Oh, okay. I thought I killed him again. I was like, this is getting old, man. Oh, what the hell? Whatever. At least we got a dragon. At least we got a dragon. Uh, Sam Jones says, uh, do you Welcome think next generation console games will cost $70? Yup. Absolutely. I mean, it's crazy to think that 2K would be the only ones to capitalize on such a greedy strategy. Especially because we know it will work. Everybody's just gonna justify it by saying it's only $10 more and they're putting so much more effort into the graphics and that takes time and money. Oh, just you wait. The, the apologists will come out like they do on everything, and they will make it a thing, and everybody's going to be paying out the nose for it. Except us on PC. We'll be waiting until the Steam sales, and then we'll laugh at, like, everybody. Not to be rude, but, I mean, that's just, that's just how it is. I mean, this is the first time I've been on console in, like, a minute, because I just don't... Oh, you better get out of there, Spyro. I really just don't play console anymore. I just have no value towards it, because... Everything looks better on my PC because I control every aspect of it. So, oh, he just slapped the hell out of Spyro. Damn, that was dirty. But yeah, so I don't know, man. It's I think it'd be 70 bucks, and I think you know, within just three games, you'll be paying most of the price of these consoles, and that's just kind of how it's gonna be. Uh, we've got Woon Woon. You said, uh, but uh, you would get a Z9F over the the uh, Sonos. Yeah, I'd get a Z9F over the Sonos because the Sonos is out of their minds. They're charging entirely way too much money. They want you to pay an absorbent amount of money for the sound bar and then turn around and charge an even more ludicrous number for the subwoofer to complete the set. It's pretty unrealistic. Uh, I mean, it is for those who, I guess, really take audio seriously, but I don't care that much, dude. Like, all of my environments are really, like not that big you know i'm not like bill gates or somebody with like some crazy theater room right built into my basement where i have everything hooked up to an ipad or something like that or whatever home interface why do i feel like he's about to do something oh okay i can live with him laughing that's fine i thought he was gonna jump on me or something but yeah you know it's just a sound bar especially at the, at the level of the z9f it can solve most most residential needs Especially if you get the rear speakers for those who have maybe like larger room setups. Yeah, it's definitely room filling sound beyond that. It's pretty spectacular. Can't lie about that. I haven't, there hasn't been a day with the Z9F I've been disappointed. And I love the pass through on it because it has eARC. It has all the stuff that you expect out of it, right? And, and it's so funny because you have people like Arting saying like all these TVs like the Q8FN, the 900E, uh, all these TVs that don't natively support it, there's no way that you can get this kind of eARC or Atmos support, and it's just like this, this lie. Like, if your hardware is good enough, you're able to do it. It just depends on your audio setup, but of course, that's not a part of the conversation, like, ever. So that's really, like, bugging me, and it's something that's really annoying, but, you know, it is what it is. Now we've got, uh, Sam here, you said, uh, I already pre-ordered 2K21. Yeah, I wouldn't give them the money, especially after what they did with WWE 2K20. Like, that that franchise, that 2K needs to just get it together already. They're greedy beyond all belief. 
Uh, and why did the United States ban Philips TVs? I don't know anything about that, to be honest with you. Uh, maybe a question for local government. Um, but that being said, I mean, that pretty much concludes the live stream. I'm not really doing a whole lot more. I'm going to go hang out with the family now. I've been on the games for like 30 minutes. That's pretty good for me. I don't really like gaming too much more than that for right now. As long as I can get this guy who is running for his life. And I'm going to take it. Oh, I almost had him too. Oh, no, 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 no. We're not going to die. We're not going to die. We're not going to die. Okay. We were about to. We were about to. I should cut him off. All right. So I know he's going to run this way. I should go. Damn it. Not off the cliff. If I could just get this one little bastard. Spyro has me like, there we go. Got him. All right. So I got this guy. And then we've got, uh, we've got Sam Jones. Okay. Yeah. I, I got all those. Those came in. Those all came in and, uh, that's what it is. All right. So I'm going to end the live stream now and, uh, <laughs> I'm laughing so hard. My wife always messes with me on these live streams. I can't get through one without my wife messing with me. Um, but all right, guys, uh, I'm going to go spend time with the family. I got the official time to spend time with the family notification. So it's time to spend time with the family. <laughs> I'm laughing. But all right, guys, you guys have a good night. And uh, until the next live stream, next Friday, I'll hopefully have my, my live stream stuff figured out. I'll probably come back on maybe later tonight and try to work through my technical difficulties but yeah it was good to chat with you guys and have a blessed evening until the next live stream i'll see you guys later